Wittenstein High Integrity Systems presents Coffee Break Training. To conclude this series of Coffee Break Training, we're going to put together everything covered in this series and look at the demo applications that are downloadable from our website. More information and additional training sessions can be found on our website. Follow us on Twitter at Wittenstein underscore Hiss for updates on new training sessions. The earlier videos in this series covered some simple features of Safe Artos, such as how to write a task, create this within the application, and initialize and start the scheduler. We then looked at how multiple tasks can communicate. This video examines the demo application which builds on the above example. The demo application is designed to show off and test the Artos API. It is not supposed to be a template for a real application. Demos for several common platforms are available from our website. These contain a library version of Safe Artos which is fully functional, save a runtime limit of about 8 hours. For this example, we'll use the demo application for Texas Instruments RM48 device, which runs on their USB key hardware kit. Most demos are very similar. This example uses TI's Code Composer Studio development environment, which is based on Eclipse. Each download has a self-extracting installer which contains a basic click-through license. It includes a combination of documentation and code in the directory structure shown here. Each demo project will vary depending on the target device and the tool chain. Specific build procedures are covered in the application note which ships with each demo. In general, our demo applications are designed to show off how to use the API, they're not examples of how to write a real application. Furthermore, some tasks, which are often the serial console task, are written in a manner that's intentionally inefficient, which helps stress the RTOS during testing. All of our demos are structured in the same manner. The memory structures are statically declared, we then configure the hardware, and then the scheduler is initialized. After this, the demo tasks are created, and finally the scheduler is started, which starts the first and highest priority task. The scheduler requires a set of parameters to operate. Some of these are common to all ports, such as the hook functions, while others are very device specific, such as MPU configuration. As Safe Artos uses static memory allocation, the idle task that is created by the scheduler also requires a stack buffer to be passed in. Our demo structure uses a common format. As already mentioned, this is designed to both exhibit the Safe Artos API and feature set, while also providing a level of stress testing. Most demos will run a number of tasks at idle priority, meaning that CPU utilization is near 100%. As well as the functional tasks, each demo has a check task that monitors the system for any error reporting by the function tasks. This will signal a heartbeat to an LED, or update an LCD display if one is available on the target hardware platform. This usually runs at a 5 second interval, unless an error is detected, when it will operate every 1 second. Task creation follows a common pattern. Each demo function has a create function which is called during startup. This in turn may create a number of tasks for the test function. These tasks only start executing once the scheduler is started. Here we can see an example of a simple create function. This creates two tasks that communicate via a queue. At the start of the function are the task initialization parameters. The queue is then created and then both tasks. Finally, the function returns. The tasks will only start running later in the program once the scheduler is started. Finally, I'd like to mention our state viewer debug tool. This ships built into the IAR embedded workbench tool chain, and it's also freely available for download from our website for Eclipse based IDEs. This shows runtime information, which is updated when the system is paused, about task and optionally queue states, including whether a task is running blocked, suspended, or ready, and other items such as how much CPU and stack space a task is consuming. The queue information includes items such as how many items are queued and which queues are blocking on send or receive events. Queues have to be registered using the API call we saw previously to allow them to operate with State Viewer. Thanks for watching. Remember to sign up on Twitter for details of further training sessions.